Sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. It's the cheapest, one of the safest, most effective medicines on the planet. It's nutritional, and because the body makes it, needs it, the stomach makes it to neutralize stomach acid, the pancreas makes it to neutralize the acidity of the food coming out of the stomach, and the kidneys make it to keep the pH of the blood constant. As we get older, those three organs make less, and we could easily become bicarbonate deficient. It's very important to understand um, bicarbonate, and there's sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, and magnesium bicarbonate. It's very important to understand that bicarbonate and carbon dioxide, CO2, are twin sisters. In the blood, there are two forms of the same thing. You can f discover, do a little science project, and it's a way of actually uh, taking it, is you put in a glass of water with a half a teaspoon of bicarbonate and squeeze a half a lemon into it, and you'll see the bubbles, the gas. The acid turns the bi uh, bicarbonate into CO2. If you don't put a lemon in the glass and you just drink it straight with water, the stomach acid will do the same job. So as the gas it goes through the stomach wall, right into the blood, back in the form of bicarbonate. It's very important to understand that, and this goes to, you know, the main divide in medicine for over a century between the germ, the germ theory of disease and the terrain theory of disease. And there's some very brilliant people over the last century who've talked about how if the terrain is in perfect shape, meaning oxygen levels are very are normal or very high, and uh, the body is slightly alkaline. Um, germs just won't take hold. In fact, viruses, whatever you want to believe they are, whether they're external enemies or a genetic uh, fragments uh, eliminated from the cells. They're pH sensitive. You've just watched the first minutes of this video. To continue, the full version is available on Substack. The link is in the description.